This course, Auditory Training for Connected Speech, is the last in a four-part series of online auditory training courses using the SPICE program. It covers goals and activities that you can use with children ages 2 to 12 of different abilities to develop comprehension of connected speech. You'll learn strategies to help students develop skills, ranging from identifying words and sentences to answering questions and conversing about topics. Watch this video of a teacher working with a child on Connected Speech Goal E, Converse About a Familiar Topic. The activity is conversation. All right, let's talk about Thomas the Train. And trains. Yeah. I know you like trains. Mm -hmm. Which train is your favorite? Thomas. Thomas is your favorite. Why do you like Thomas? Because he can get everything. He can get everything? Mm -hmm. Oh, like he can carry everything? Yeah, just like he can just go, um, how to just try to go, how to go faster. He could go faster. Oh, it sounds like Thomas is the fastest train. Oh, yeah, he is. CID developed the SPICE program as a comprehensive guide for developing auditory skills in children with hearing loss. The SPICE is based on research and on 20 years of auditory training experience by CID professionals. Now it's your turn to practice data collection on comprehension of connected speech. Track the child's answers to each of the teacher's questions to calculate the child's mastery of this objective. First, click to download the data collection sheet and print it out. Watch the video and evaluate the child's response to each question. Watch it as many times as you need to. Mark the sheet with a plus sign for an appropriate answer or a minus sign for an inappropriate or inaccurate answer, which indicates that the child didn't respond appropriately or didn't understand the question. Add comments if you'd like. When you're finished, compare your data collection sheet to the answer key that we've prepared. Other courses in this series cover the auditory training process and other skill areas that students need to develop. Detection of speech, suprasegmental perception, and vowel and consonant perception.